Yeah, this is a, a real YouTube ad, folks. A real, real YouTube ad. If you want to regulate... A YouTube ad. We must seize the means of production. Stop it, Vlad. You know the rule. If you want to regulate something, go regulate the mess in your room. Yeah, communism is regulation. It seems a big part about being a mom these days is helping your kids unlearn the crazy ideas they're exposed to in the world. Mom, I just found out that if I run into the TV fast enough, I'll become a cartoon. Nope, that will kill you. And it's not just normal kid stuff either. Now, my kids are being told by the media and even the school system that socialism is great. Mama, if we just get rid of all these successful people, we'll finally be happy. No, honey, that just means we'll all be poor. Here's the funniest part, okay? Actually, let me just finish this and I I'll get to it. I want to teach my kids right, but it is so hard to find age-appropriate material to teach them about the principles of freedom. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. Okay, you want to know what's funny about this? Like, obviously, no fucking 12-year-old is reading, uh, you know, the Communist Manifesto or anything like that. That's really dumb. The real problem is that, yes, most children's books promote positive values like sharing like being kind to one another and those values unfortunately are in direct opposition with free market capitalist oh, idealism yeah, saying, okay and that is precisely why this psycho is fucking bent okay not only does she not understand what communism is, taxes, communism, regulation, communism, idiot. But she's actually mad that, like, children's books are promoting values like sharing is caring. Be kind to your neighbor. Or the Bible, for example. Also promoting similar values, at least in energy. That would ultimately be considered, you know, close to the uh, ultimate goals of socialism. So that's precisely what this is. The, the anger is basically stemming around like all of our children's books are teaching kids to be socialists. We need to teach them that free market capitalism and individualism is actually the right way. The blocks are the supply and when people want them, that's demand. Is that what dad meant when he said you- Yeah, exactly. Which is why much like a Jenga uh, toy, uh, capitalism falls apart regularly every like four to eight year cycles where this entire thing is just crushed by one tiny little sliver being pulled out. Too demanding. Wait, what did she say? When he said you're too demanding. Luckily, I now have the Tuttle Twins to help us. The Tuttle Twins is a series of books written for freedom-loving parents that teach correct principles about free markets in clear and relatable stories. You know, clear and relatable, so opposite of socialists. But isn't, the, isn't socialism in the world that you just constructed winning in the marketplace of ideas? And that's why you're trying to fucking push this other thing? Also, the Tuttle Twins, like... It just look a little off, okay? This graphic looks a little off. I don't know what the fuck's going on. I don't know why they chose this graphic to go with. With over 2 million copies sold, these- Her eyes are very far up apart from one another. These books are the best way to teach your child real-world topics not covered by most school curriculum. Mom, I demand cookies. There's no more supply. Oh. Why would you want your kid to be a fucking asshole, dude? Aw. My child learned about supply and demand. Um, I demand cookies. There's no more supply. Oh. So if you have offspring and don't want them supporting socialism, then click the link and order the Tuttle Twins books today. Dude, this is, this is awesome. I mean, dude, this is actually child abuse, okay? This is literally child abuse. You fucking read this shit to your children Speaking forcibly, you're doing child spring. abuse, okay? This is satire, right? I hope so. Wait, is it actually satire? Let's look, TuttleTwins.com.
Bro, I don't think it's satire, dude. Nope, it's not satire. This is me. I'm the author wearing a Libertarian Institute shirt, dude. Nope, it's not satire. It's very real. You're like me. You're worried about the new normal society is trying to cram down our throats. In the wake of COVID-19, the government has asserted its power, printed a ton of new money, and restricted our rights. <laughs> yeah, 